Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to talk about reasons why you should wait for the OLED iPad Pro and not buy the M2 iPad Pro right now. Will the iPad Pro 2024 redefine the tablet experience, or is it just another device in Apple's lineup? Stay tuned as we dissect every rumor, every upgrade, and every feature that could make this the game changer you've been waiting for. Apple is on the brink of unveiling its revamped iPad Pro models, which are anticipated to bring about significant changes. If you're contemplating purchasing the M2 iPad Pro, we suggest holding off until the OLED iPad Pro hits the market. This will provide clarity on the enhanced features and new pricing structure. Furthermore, the OLED iPad Pro is set to undergo a substantial redesign, setting it apart from current models in both appearance and performance. To assist you, we've compiled a list of the OLED iPad Pro's forthcoming changes, which promise to make the device a worthwhile upgrade. Anticipating the OLED iPad Pro is coming sooner than you think. The OLED iPad Pro has experienced several delays, with Apple postponing the launch due to technical or production challenges. However, the end of March has been speculated for some time, and we're optimistic that the devices will be released sooner rather than later. Apple is under considerable pressure to release upgraded iPad models, as it did not upgrade any iPads last year, which is reflected in the company's overall revenue. The OLED iPad Pro is set to introduce notable enhancements to the lineup, marking the first major design overhaul since 2018. Numerous rumors and reports suggest that the OLED iPad Pro could feature MagSafe charging capabilities. While the specifics are currently with Apple, there are several reasons to wait for the OLED iPad Pro's launch rather than purchasing the current model with a mini LED display. The iPad Pro embraces OLED technology. One of the most substantial upgrades coming to the iPad Pro is the new OLED display. At present, the 11-inch iPad Pro uses an IPS LCD panel, while the larger 12.9-inch model features a mini-LED display. Apple is likely to eliminate this display disparity, as reports suggest that both the 11-inch and 13-inch models will incorporate an OLED panel. The OLED panel offers numerous advantages over LCD and mini-LED displays, including deeper blacks, a higher contrast ratio, superior dynamic range, and more. Apple is striving for unmatched image quality on the iPad Pro, so if you're considering purchasing one for entertainment purposes, we recommend waiting a little longer. In addition to the superior image quality, the OLED display consumes less power than traditional LCD and mini-LED displays, which will result in improved battery life for the OLED iPad Pro. The thinner OLED display will also contribute to the device's overall slimness. The OLED iPad Pro, bigger and thinner. The iPad Pro is set to increase in size with the upcoming release. Apple plans to expand the smaller variant to 11.1 inches and the larger variant to 13.1 inches. It's important to note that the device's overall form factor could remain the same, with the larger screen size achieved through slimmer bezels on all sides. Previous reports have indicated that Apple intends to make the iPad Pro significantly thinner than current models, a change that will apply to both models. The 11-inch iPad Pro is rumored to be 5, 5 mm thin, while the larger 13-inch model could be as thin as 5 mm. While some users may express concerns about potential bending issues with the tablet, sure, Apple is likely to strengthen the chassis to prevent the iPad Pro from bending easily. Improved front camera orientation. Recent reports suggest that Apple will adopt the landscape camera orientation of the iPad 10 for the OLED iPad Pro and the M2 iPad Air later this month. Given the larger size of these devices compared to smartphones, it would be logical for the upcoming models to feature sensors in landscape mode for enhanced utility. This approach has also been adopted by Apple's main competitor, Samsung, for its new Galaxy S2 Ultra tablet. The M3 chip, a new addition to the iPad Pro. Apple unveiled the M3 chip last year with the launch of the new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models. This chip, which offers improved computational and graphical performance, is expected to be incorporated into the OLED iPad Pro. As the iPad Pro is not designed to accommodate a fan, Apple will limit the chip's performance, but it could potentially match the performance of the recently announced MacBook Air models. MagSafe and new accessories. 
As part of its major redesign, Apple is expected to introduce the iPhone's MagSafe technology to the OLED iPad Pro. The application of this technology could differ due to the larger size of the device, potentially being used for charging purposes. The OLED iPad Pro could feature MagSafe charging, similar to the MacBooks, for a seamless user experience. With the new Magic Keyboard, the device could resemble a laptop more than a tablet, as suggested by previous reports from Bloomberg. Numerous rumors indicate that Apple is developing a new version of the Apple Pencil with enhanced features, which could be released alongside the new OLED iPad Pro. Storage and Price Earlier rumors suggest that the OLED iPad Pro could offer up to 4 terabytes of storage capacity, doubling the capacity of current models. This could also mean that the base storage could be increased from 256 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes, although no details have been confirmed yet. With larger storage and significant design changes, the OLED iPad Pro could carry a hefty price tag, potentially costing as much as the M3 Pro MacBook Pro. Previous reports indicated that the starting price for the base 11-inch OLED iPad Pro could be as high as $1,500, and the base 13-inch model could cost up to $1,800. While these prices are nearly double those of the M2 variants, it remains to be seen whether the latest upgrades will justify the higher costs. The increased prices could potentially be attributed to the inclusion of the OLED panel from LG and Samsung. OLED iPad Pro Launch and Release as mentioned, Apple could launch the new OLED iPad Pro models as early as later this month, featuring upgraded design and features. The company might host a spring event to showcase the latest changes, but Mark Gurman suggests that a press release might be more likely than a full-fledged event. The devices are expected to go on sale the week following the announcement. You'll get your OLED iPads when they're good and ready. Apple's updated tablets should arrive after a variant of iPadOS 17.4 is finished around the end of this month, or sometime in April. Mark Gurman writes in the subscriber version of Power On for Bloomberg today. He also writes that the new USB-C AirPods, the entry-level model, and a mid-tier version with noise cancelling, are expected around September or October. Stay tuned for more updates. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into the world of the OLED iPad Pro. As we stand on the brink of a technological revolution, remember that the future is always in motion. Will the OLED iPad Pro live up to the hype? Only time will tell. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates and insights into the ever-evolving world of technology. Until next time, peace out.